My name is Eddie Toffby. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Kansas City and Minneapolis wheat markets. I'll start with Kansas City wheat. There are some obvious differences here that I have been at pains to point out compared to the Chicago contract. Notably the absence of a suitable bump and run reversal top trend line anywhere below the market such as we've seen in Chicago. Interestingly here, the extended fall from the double top back in late May halted initially at the rising long moving average currently at 614 and then after changeover at the December 2020 today uptrend currently at 592 before then moving back up two weeks ago. There was also no weekly key reversal here two weeks ago but, and it is an important but, but just as Chicago we are on for a monthly key reversal here in July. If we close over 659 or under 620 then we'd be on. Right now well the market is looking strongly at a monthly key reversal up for July. It obviously all depends on where we close tonight. In the meantime the last three stroke four weeks here have built up for a possible bullish halfway hesitation especially after last night's strong close, the highest since early May and with today's similarly strong action. Hence I would place an initial target X in the 713 area and a, sec and a secondary target X1 in a 742 area for, the, for that pattern. I would also add my comments from some five weeks ago thus and I quote the market is far less along the road of contemplating a move lower we're not there yet in this contract. End of quote. I have left what may turn out to be the best till last. The breadth of this week's action compared especially to last week's action means that we may have a weekly key reversal here as well this week. If we close tonight either over 662 or under 657 then we'll be on. Right now we are looking at a weekly key reversal up. But we still have hours to go. Ha! Minneapolis wheat. I've said it again and again and I'll keep on saying it. You've got to admire this contract. I have repeated this now for months I think that there are once again a number of let's be honest huge differences here in this contract compared to the Chicago and Kansas City contracts. For starters and perhaps supremely important, the August to December 2020 bullish Andrew Spitchell, which has run this market higher so so successfully was still valid as recently as two weeks ago and may still be. It was back then that the market really punched up and out of the upper time currently at 9.01. Prices have since tried to move higher but on the surface it may look like they've failed as we're hanging around the same old broken upper time. However, these very same actions have also allowed me to draw a more acute April to May bullish Andrews pitchfork. Now this second one is growing like a branch out of the first one and we've found ourselves in between the lower time there currently 869 and the middle time currently 963 of this new bullish Andrews pitchfork. Looking around where we are, support is below at the 2017 high at 8.68 and top side well we have resistance at 9.37 and 9.57 but I look at the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 9.74 to be the next heavy duty top side resistance of note. It is much as I've been saying here for months now. The bullish incentive here is still alive and well until these bullish Andrews picture guiding this market both of them are broken then they will continue to show the bullish angle of attack of this market. Thank you for listening this weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final bit. <laughs>